welcome to another edition of Fast Break. I'm Penny Davis, NCAA National Coordinator of Women's Basketball Officiating. The topic of this video is contact on and by the ball handler dribbler. Freedom of movement of the ball handler dribbler leads to exciting offensive plays. Contact on and by the ball handler dribbler continues to be a point of emphasis and an important focal point in the game. Let's review some examples. It's an automatic foul when the defender contacts the ball handler dribbler anytime with two hands. The official should rule this foul immediately when they observe two hands placed on the dribbler. This is the proper enforcement of this rule. In this example, the defender places an arm bar on the dribbler. The rule states that a foul should be ruled when the defender contacts the ball handler dribbler with an arm bar. This is the correct enforcement of the arm bar rule. The defense has committed a foul when they contact the ball handler dribbler more than once with the same hand or with alternating hands. This type of contact can be disruptive to the dribbler. This is the correct ruling of a multiple touch foul. When there is body contact between the ball handler and the defender, the official must determine whether the contact is incidental or illegal. When the defender's body contact affects the rhythm, speed, balance, or quickness of the ball handler, or reroutes the ball handler from their desired path, a foul has been committed by the defender. In this example, the defender steps up and over the screen to avoid it. The defender's body contacts the dribbler and impacts their RSBQ. A foul is correctly ruled on this play. These final examples demonstrate illegal contact by the ball handler dribbler. It's a foul when any displacement, holding, or pushing occurs by either the offense or defense. Officials need to concentrate on refereeing the defense to correctly detect which player initiated the illegal contact. These plays are both fouls by the dribbler for displacing the defense. I hope that these examples will be helpful in understanding the NCAA women's college basketball rules around contact on and by the ball handler dribbler. Thank you for your support of women's basketball. Would you like to be an official? Please visit the website posted here to learn more.